every test that they do, they start with us black folk. And it works so well to keep black boys watching rappers and athletes, um, not athletes, but rappers and, and street niggas. And, and, and it works so well. It worked like a charm. So if basketball don't work, football don't work, they don't really play baseball like that. Some of them do. And if rapping don't work, they go to gang man. So we have a bunch of unskilled, untrained men that they made sure that happened. But we keeping people in this childish mind state because whatever they do as a child, now they're doing it all the way into their adulthood. They don't have skills to fall back on. That's why they took the trades out of schools. Yes, everyone can't code. Coding is not gonna work for everyone. Duh. <laughs> trades everyone has a trade someone can become a barber someone be can become a plumber an electrician the pandemic should have showed you that skills pay the bills i'm pandemic proof i got a truck in a trailer outside guess what they told me i was they said i was essential if you got a truck in a dump bed you can check you can trace chase storms all across america you take that goddamn dump bed trailer as soon as there's a storm and a natural disaster, you carry your ass down there and sign up. I guarantee you they'll put your ass to work. See, we don't want to work no more. We don't want to think about work. Because that ain't real. Kyle's like a song, that ain't real nigga shit. I'd rather rock a nigga's not box and go in the box with a bunch of men and having white men tell me what to do. Because I feel better that way when a white man say, hey boy, child time. Don't even call you by your name. One, two, five, dumb ass boy, come here. Yeah, that's better. Ain't that better? Yeah, yeah. We love our oppressors so much that we'll keep signing up for the 13th Amendment and telling little boys what's real. Sagging our pants off our ass when we know where that came from. That's real. Wearing these tight ass goddamn jeans. That's real. 40 years old with their goddamn knees out. That's real. You know what we don't look like no more? Real men might want to bring school trades back into these schools so you have a set of skilled young men so if somebody turned the tvs off and the lights off and where well, we got to fend for our motherfucking self who can chop down the tree and make a log house who can goddamn go get the water and know which water to drink and not to drink who has the equipment to change into safe drinking water who has the first aid and medical kit trauma uh, unit packages who has the resources? Who has the things we really need and not pretty motherfucking shoes, rims, gold teeth, and big ass motherfucking chain? And them white boys sitting back laughing. They sitting back joining hunting clubs. They shooting deers with bow and arrows. They hunting squirrels. They shooting guns and practicing and training year motherfucking round. Every season they shooting something. They running up the big ass motherfucking hogs with one or two dogs and slitting their whole goddamn neck. And you think they ain't ready for some shit to pop off? While we walk around the goddamn neighborhood with fucking flip flops on with a gun in our waistband. You think they scared of that shit? With some tight ass jeans on. You think any white man scared of that shit? I wouldn't give a fuck what size your gun is and how many motherfucking rounds it holds. You think they scared of that bullshit? We better stop all this motherfucking talking and start getting some goddamn skills. Cause the only niggas we seem to be able to kill is niggas. Cause ain't no white neighborhood I ever seen you niggas ever go into and take over. So we need to pipe down all this goddamn talking and maybe learn how to not think like that and maybe understand we can control this shit with our wallet and letting our little boys learn some skills so they can finally not have to take goddamn sell these 360 deals and be fucking thugs and go to this 13th amendment that these prisons that they're building because they're building it for black and brown people remember and without a skill what happened when they released the slaves all of these men that were unskilled well they were skilled but they would make everything a crime they would not give them a job make everything a crime so they can go where so it's funny how Hassan Campbell is glorifying the goddamn hood. And you say something that coding won't work? Why you ain't mentioned trades? I said coding and trades. And that will cover a wide spectrum. And then some kids are gonna still aspire to be doctors. 
But in the black community specifically, there were men that used to be able to walk out community and always make money because they knew how to use their hand. They didn't have to kick in the dough and rob you because they could fix your dough. They could build you a whole goddamn screen porch and they would do it at a rate to where you couldn't say no. And it would help you and it would help them. So does that make it any more sense to you, Hassan Campbell? Ain't that better? <laughs>